So this is one of those stories where I, I'm reporting on it just because it's extremely interesting, and I know a lot of you guys are going to want to know about this, but it's not necessarily something that I suggest anybody does. So you guys have seen the title of this video, Homebrew Now Works on Nintendo Switch. That is right. Hackers have been able to make the homebrew application run on Nintendo Switch. Now, for those who don't know what homebrew is, it is essentially uh, a hack of a system, in this case the Switch, that allows you to install applications that you normally couldn't install on Switch. Sometimes this would include things you might find on like a Google Play Store or custom created games that don't have to go through Nintendo's approval process or what it's most popular and most commonly known for, allowing people to install specific emulators on the system which can then be used to play old games. Uh, you can even emulate technically like on 3DS Homebrew with 3D with using Homebrew on 3DS, you can illegally emulate 3D games on the 3ds uh, so again it's not something that I'm a big supporter of but I am not gonna lie I played around with homebrew back during the Wii days so here is how it works I'm getting this report from Nintendo life who condensed a longer report that was over at Wolo low net so I'll have a link to both Nint Nintendo life and Wolo low net but I'm gonna stick with Nintendo life because they did a better job condensing it when I looked at the original report it, it gets a little too technical so the, let's just get to the basics here it says it's not like the switch is any shortage of amazing quality games but that never stops homebrew enthusiasts from trying to get experimental with Nintendo hardware after all the Wii U and 3ds were eventually opened up to play homebrew so it was only a matter of time before an exploit was found on switch over on the Wallalo Homebrew community, it has been reported that following several months of tinkering, the Pega Switch Toolkit has now made it possible to run Homebrew on Switch. However, there is a caveat. It must be running firmware 3.0.0, which is a problem because most Switch owners are updated to 4.0.1 by now. However, for those with firmware lower than version 3.0.0, it is recommended that you use Pokin Tournament DX to get up to date with the desired firmware. Basically, you put the game in and that's the firmware that it will require you to install to play the game. Uh, it says right now it doesn't sound like there are any homebrew games available as such, but the team behind RetroArc seems to think their emulator will be running on the Switch soon. So that's basically the gist of it. You have to have this older version of the OS to run it so it's not it's not like a full like homebrew was able to be hacked like on wii u and 3ds on almost every single version out there uh and you, but that's not the case here and well, the reason that this matters is because if you do um you know reflash your your switch somehow uh factory reset it back to below uh the firmware update or whatever the case may be you, you do what you can to get back to it or you have an older firmware update you can't play super mario odyssey because super Mar mario odyssey requires 4.0.1 um this is something that i think nintendo has smartly done uh to combat piracy and to combat hacking of their system is sure through an older version of their os you're able to run homebrew however Nintendo is requiring that their new games always require the latest firmware patches. And now you might complain, oh, I don't have internet access, so I, I can't get the latest firmware. I get it. It sucks. But see, that's why the games sometimes come with the patch. Uh, it's come with the firmware included with it. So that's how Nintendo's working around that. And yeah, I mean, in general, uh, you guys probably know my stance by now, but I stand against um, modifying and hacking um your consoles, especially, uh, well, okay, let me, let me let me run that back a little bit. I'm not against you modifying your console and hacking it and seeing what you can do with the hardware. What I am against is doing it in a method that allows people to install emulators to play games illegally. Um, and I understand that that stance isn't necessarily popular. There's plenty of people out there that uh, will tell me that emulation is valid and should be allowed and blah, 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 blah. Uh, even if that emulation is of literally Nintendo Switch games, um, which means you're stealing games, uh, because if you owned the game on Nintendo Switch, you wouldn't need to run an emulator to run the game on Nintendo Switch. So it's it's a very sticky situation to me. Um, I just avoid the whole mess. 
there, there's multiple things that happen when you homebrew uh, your system. Uh, one, it invalidates your warranty. So if anything happens to your Switch while it's under warranty, which all Nintendo Switches are right now, you just invalidated it and you can't get it replaced uh, either by uh, GameStop or Walmart or Amazon or wherever you got it or by Nintendo themselves. Um, and two, Nintendo severely frowns down upon this. So uh, when you're looking to get newer Switch games, if you want to buy them, you can't get them. And it's potential that you might never be able to emulate them either, even if they release an emulator for them, uh, just because of not being able to match up OS level uh, updates. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this progresses moving forward. Uh, Nintendo has definitely learned how to combat homebrew a lot better than they have in the past. As I said, I fully used homebrew on Wii uh, for a couple weeks, and I understood some of the benefits. Uh, it was kind of neat getting some applications and getting some emulators on my system that I couldn't normally have. I mean, on my Wii, I was emulating SNES games. It, yeah. The thing is, is... I. Times have changed, I guess, with me, right? Um, ever since I got busted uh, legally, like legally busted um, by my ISP and by uh, the FBI for um, downloading an illegal copy of a game, I've kind of just been against it, saying that, you know what, I know my my getting busted is um, such a rarity, but it, it's just not worth the risk. There are so many ways to play these games now. Um, so many legal ways to play these games. Uh, I know that there's no virtual console yet on Switch. That could be a deterrent, but there is virtual console on Wii U. There is virtual console on Switch. There's SNES Classic out there, NES Classic. Uh, you could still buy the old system and go the old school retro gaming route. Uh, if you don't want to get the old system, there are new retro systems that play multiple different systems. And you can just go buy the cartridges. There's even still used uh, you know, like mom and pop shops around here that sell like SNES games and NES games and blah, 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 blah. Uh, and they're not usually that expensive so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about this uh in the comments below do you plan to use homebrew uh have you been waiting like knowing that this was going to take the 3.0.0 update because we knew that uh this whole time that they were working on making homebrew work with 3.0.0 that was stated a while back that seemed to be where hackers were getting in um that's how hackers are able to access like the web browser and how we found out about the golf game and blah 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 uh, everything seemed to be happening on that version of the OS. So you guys let me know what you think about all of that uh, in the comments below. Your thoughts on emulation in general, your thoughts on homebrew, on if this is a positive or negative thing, or just a, hey, whatever, it, it exists, it happens, people are going to do this. Um, let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle-Jance from Nintendo Prime, and if you like this video... Well, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. There is still time to enter our Nintendo Switch AAA 3-pack giveaway. Uh, we have a Gleam.io link down in the description below if you would like to enter that. it The contest ends at the end of the... Well, it's not even a contest. The giveaway ends at the end of the month. Uh, and I'll select a winner and you will receive those three games. Being L.A. Noir, Doom, and Skyrim for Nintendo Switch. That being said, folks, I will catch you in the next one.